Hi guys, thanks for tuning in today. Today we are going to be looking at the Inspire's Flight Recorder. To get to the Flight Recorder, open the app and then go to the User Center. Inside the User Center, you will find the album. Inside the album, you can see all the pictures and videos that you will have downloaded from your Inspire. As you can see, here's a sample picture that I've downloaded. You can get more information about this picture by tapping on the eye in the top right hand corner. At the bottom of this information you will also notice an interactive map. The drop pin defines where this photo was actually taken. As you can see I'm just over the river Mersey here. When you are fully zoomed out of your picture, you can swipe left and right to look at the other pictures. So let's back out of here now and have a look at the flight recorder. Choose the middle option on the bottom. Here you can see all of your flight recordings. This gives you the date, the place of the flight, mileage, time, maximum altitude, how many photos were taken and video. On the right hand side you can see moments. The moments give you a visual representation of some of the media that you took during that flight. Selecting one of these records brings up a map view of your entire flight. As you can see you can pinch to zoom into the map. You will also see the white lines. These white lines represent where you've flown on that map. You can see my home location here and the red triangle indicates the craft. If I press the play button it will start to play the flight in real time. You will start to see all of the flight data information change from height, distance, velocity and speed. You can now see the red triangle moving, indicating that I'm flying. You can also see green sticking out of the front of that triangle. This represents where the camera was actually looking at the time. You will see this moving around later on. In post production I'm superimposing some of the 4K footage that you can see here. You'll be able to see that the video matches with the flight log. Here you can see a couple that were interested in the Inspire 1 when I was unpackaging it. They asked if I could fly along so they could see it. So I flew down to them and then done the transformation in front of them just to show off. Now you can see that the video perfectly matches up with the flight log as I head down the beach. What's worth taking note of is that green sticking out of the triangle. As I mentioned earlier, this is where the camera is actually pointing. And as I fly down to the pier here, you will see that the green will now start to look to the right hand side, although the craft is traveling forwards. And then I reset the gimbal. So here's where the craft continues forward, yet the camera looks right. You can see this with the green sticking out of the triangle. You will now see me reset the camera and turn around, back away from the pier. One thing that I really like about the Inspire is whilst you're flying, this flight line that you see here is actually shown to you on your iOS device. So as you can see, I'm following my old flight line that I used to get to the pier to fly home. This can be very handy. In my previous video, I uploaded a shot that I actually called One Shot, and that was because uh, it was a nice fluid one shot video. Uh, you can actually see it here on the left hand side and on the right you can see the flight record from it. If you would have thought that I had actually flew past the crane and panned the camera around you would actually be wrong. I actually yawed the Inspire around the crane to get the shot but it was so smooth you would think that it was actually a camera movement. So if you watch the red triangle you will notice that the green shown where the camera is actually pointing doesn't actually turn it actually stays with the heading of the craft. 
So it just goes to show the capability of the craft, even when you're in around, you can still get a smooth, fluid shot. So if we look at the map now, you can see these photo locations. These are actually marked with the white dots. So you can see here's a sample of one of the photos I've taken. And it is actually on the white dots that you see. Each one represents a photo taken and is geotagged. You can actually make out on this video here as I approach the white dot, I take another snap. It really is easy to take these uh, pictures uh, on the go. The Inspire just makes it very intuitive with the right hand side of the remote being for your stills and the left for recording video. So as you can see that all works really well. Uh, if we back out and go to the third option, this is where it enables you to change your profile. So that's it for this video guys, I do hope you have enjoyed it. If you want to keep up to date with all the latest news on the Inspire, then join the DJI Inspire One Facebook group. There's a link in the description. Thanks for watching guys, see you soon.